Last year I started with a Halloween costume. Now I'm back with a Halloween costume. A starting pattern I chose Vogue 1348. I underlined my main fabric with a light white flannel. Then I stay stitched along the edges of the center bodice part. Now I cut the seam allowance. This way it's easier to attach the center to the side sections. Here you can see how the layers fit together neatly. In the corner I stop stitching. After pressing the seam allowance apart it's time for the pleats. I mark the middle of the pleat, then I center it to the seam line. Each ring of the pleat I stitch from the fold to the center. Then I top stitch the pleat from the right side. I decided to make a deeper cutout at the back. Therefore I based the underlining along the new cutting line to fix it. Then I cut off the needle section and do the same on the second back bodice part. To attach the zipper, I first mark the end of the zipper and pin the upper parts. Then I stitch both zipper sides from the bottom to the top. Now I stitch front to back section, right sides together. Making the pleats at the side seams follows the same steps as the pleats before. the skirt too long for my project, so I decided to shorten it. I hem the dress by hand stitching the hem to the underlining, what is completely invisible from the outside.
since I'm crazy for lining, I have prepared a lining for this costume too. Now I sew it to the front back neck and to the armhole edges, leaving a distance to the shoulder seams. Don't forget to match the seam lines. After stitching, it's incredibly important to cut the seam allowances in curvy areas. So the seam allowances will lay flat after turning the dress. Don't forget to iron after turning. When I pin the shoulder seams, I pin the lining out of the way. Then I grab between the main fabric and the lining and pull the shoulder parts out. Now I can stitch the lining shoulder seams. That's a really nice way to attach lining to the main fabric in the shoulder areas. Close the side openings of the shoulder area, I grab between main fabric and lining, pull out the required sections and stitch them together. I leave the gap on the arm side open because I need it to attach the sleeves. For the sleeves I cut out two organza and two tool rectangles. I put together one rectangle of organza and one of tool in the center of their long sides. Then I hand stitch them into the shoulder opening. The body seems a little bit boring to me, so I decided to include some cutouts. How I do this, I show you on a piece of fabric. First, I draw the cutout on the fabric. I embellish the cutout with two layers of organza and one layer of tool. One organza layer I pin and stitch along the drawn line. Then I pin and baste the other layers a little bit away from the first stitching line. First I only cut the main fabric. Then I cut only one against the layer. I fold the edges outwards and stitch them from the right side. To 
get more structure into my cutouts, I cut the edges of the three layers into shreds. In the end, I remove the basting line. The neckline seems to be boring too, so I made a bias binding out of gasser to gasser tool and a satin strip, which I attached to the neckline. Then I gather a big piece of tool and organza and stitch it inside the dress to the lining. A little bit of draping later, here is the final result. I hope you enjoyed watching, if so don't forget to subscribe and to like the video.